Hey what's up guys this is Kartik and I am just welcoming all of you to my awesome and amazing youtube channel Kodal and Dogs. Guys in the previous video of HTML and Android course tutorial we have just discussed about multimedia and from this video we are going to start a new playlist which is CSS playlist. So before getting late let's get started. And guys before starting the video make sure that you have liked this video and don't forget to subscribe to the Dogs channel and don't forget to follow us on Instagram so anyways let's start the video so guys here you can see CSS introduction so CSS style sheet uh, cascading style sheet uh, referred to as CSS is a simply designed language intended to simplify the process of making web pages presentable. CSS allows you to apply style to a web pages more importantly and it enables you to do independent of HTML that makes up each web page. CSS is easy to learn and understand but it provides powerful control over the presentation of an HTML document, raw HTML docu document. And now let's discuss about some features of uh, CSS which is cascading style sheets. So you can see CSS saves our time. So you can write CSS once and then reuse same sheet in multiple HTML pages. You can define a style for each HTML element and apply it to as many web pages as you want. Pages load faster it, uh, uh, if you are using CSS. You don't need to write HTML tag uh, attributes every time. Just write one CSS rule of a tag and apply it to all occurrences uh, of uh, that tag. So else code means fast download time. And now you can see easy maintenance. So to make a global change, uh, simply change the style and all elements in all web pages will be updated automatically. Now superior styles to HTML. So CSS has a much wider uh, array of attributes than HTML. So you can uh, give a far better look to your HTML page in comparison to HTML attributes. And now multiple device compatibility. So uh, style sheets allow content to be optimized for more than one type of device a device for using the same HTML document. Different version of website can be presented and uh, as PDAs and cell phones for printing. So now global web standards. So you can see now HTML attribute are being deprecated and it is being recommended to CSS to use CSS. So it's a good idea to start using CSS in all the HTML pages to make them compatible to future browsers. Now you can see the syntax for CSS. So guys, uh, basically a uh, CSS comprises style uh, rules that are interpreted by the browser and then applied to uh, corresponding elements in your document. A style rule set consistent of uh, a selector and declaration block. So you can see suppose h1 is a selector and the declaration is we have to add a color to it so let's say the color will be blue and the font size will be 12 and we can change to uh, how many we want and you can see the selector points to the HTML element you want to style the declaration block contains one or more declarations separated by semicolons and each dec uh, declaration I just mean declaration includes a CSS property name and a value separated by a colon. For example, color is a property and blue is a value. And font size, font size is also a property and 12 pixel is also a value. So now a CSS declaration always ends with a semicolon and declaration block are surrounded by uh, curly brackets. So you can see these are curly brackets. So guys, I hope you understand this introduction to CSS and in the next tutorial, we are going to discuss about first code in CSS. So before getting late, I just mean bye bye, see you later and take care.